What are you doing? You're getting yourself all pretty. Sure. What you doing? Putting mascara on. Why? Because that way I look like I have eyelashes. <laughs> right on. Lisa's getting dressed up all fancy because we are celebrating our three year wedding anniversary. I can't believe that it's actually three years. It feels like it's so much longer. And that's not a bad thing when I say that. It's not at all. We are on our way. We're at Disney Springs and we are heading to dinner. And I put out on Twitter where people might recommend for us to go for our wedding anniversary. And actually it was between Boathouse, uh, California Grill, and paddle fish. Well, boathouse to do it on Saturday was like nine, ten o'clock at night to get a reservation. Yeah. That is way too late to eat. And um, California Grill, there were no reservations left. Yeah, so we couldn't get in. So we went with the third choice that you guys recommended, and we are heading to Paddlefish. We have never eaten there. No. But no. We heard it's really good. Yeah. So we're going to do a full review on it while we're having our little anniversary day. <laughs> yeah, probably not something a lot of people would do, but you know, I figured we'll review it. So let's go. It's raining right now. <laughs> yeah, you want to get under? No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. So state your name, guys. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Cameron. I'm Nicholas. And where are you guys from? Orlando, right here. Orlando? Yeah. Now the cool part is they ran into us because they actually watch our channel, so that's yep. really cool. Yep. You guys are our first sighting, so that's yeah. awesome. Cool. Very cool. What are you guys doing today? You seeing the new Deadpool movie? No. no. We're actually seeing a movie, though. What movie are you seeing? Uh, Life of the Life Party. Of the Life of the Party. I hear that's actually good, yeah. man. Very good. Do you guys have a YouTube channel at all? No. no. Just watchers? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Very cool. Right on, guys. show you guys a little bit of the menu, kind of what's going on here at Paddlefish. You got a bunch of starters here. You got your crab cakes, beef skewers, calamari, crab fries, lobster corn dogs are interesting. Obviously, little neck clams are the best, but I think Lisa and I, we're gonna go with the crab fries here. So you can do your soups and salad gumbos. Sounds good, except it has chicken in it, so that's no good for us. You have sides that you can share right here. You have your chilled and raw seafood, which, I don't know. I always con contemplate it, but I never get it for some reason. And then you have your from the port, scallops, crispy shrimp, salmon, swordfish, catfish, shrimp grits, linguine and clams. I'm really thinking about the linguine and clams. That is like maybe gonna happen. And then you have from your land, which are all your different meats. And then you can build your own seafood boil here, which is really cool. And then on the back here, you have all your different spritzers. So it's really good. They got a good variety of different uh, alcoholic drinks as well. Plus some more of your, oh yeah, you got your American drafts, your drafts. You're imported domestic, so yeah, they have a couple of things, you know, like uh, Stella is always a good time. Yeah, it's not too bad. Seasonal selection, hmm. 
So we got the crab fries for our starter. And you can see that there are actual, thank goodness, chunks of crab on this. Most time there isn't. And then we have, what type of sauce was this again? A, a Louis sauce? Yeah, I don't I, know. I think it was a Louis sauce. So this looks excellent. So we're probably about halfway done now with the uh, crab fries. Lisa, what do you think of them? Good. Yeah, they're really good. I uh, I really like this Louis dressing. I've never had it before. From what I can tell, the Louis dressing is sort of more like a Thousand Island, maybe Russian dressing, in a sense. But it's really, really good. But I'm trying to like take my time with it because Lisa and I, we love French fries so much. We'll just eat that and not actually have our dinner. So so far, appetizers are really good. So this is what I got for the dinner. This is a linguine and clams. It smells and looks amazing with the butter garlic sauce. And then Lisa. I got shrimp pasta, so it's shrimp, cherry tomatoes, and basil. And Look, I forget what the sauce is. It's decent amount, like big size shrimp. Oh yeah. It looks really good. Everything looks amazing, so let's dig into this. So let's do a bite here, let's see how this is. The only thing it's lacking a little bit, I told Lisa, is like complimentary bread for like soaking up like all the juices with the pasta. And also a spoon to help you twirl. But luckily, I've been eating a lot of pasta in my day. I know how to twirl. Right? Yeah. It's really good. The sauce isn't like overpowering with like the lemon and the garlic. Although I wouldn't mind if it had more garlic though. But that's just me. I I love garlic. But so far, this is really good. The clams are nice and juicy as well. It's amazing. It's really good. Do what you gotta do. had our dinner at Paddlefish. What did you think overall? It was really good. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, every Yeah, everything was great. Like I said, the only like kind of downfall, I wish they gave you like a complimentary bread, but you have to pay for the bread there, so... But that's not like the end of the world. I mean, like, did I need the bread? No, because I probably would have been full. But, you know, to some people, little things like that matter. So I don't know if that does or not. Yeah. But, to give you somewhat of the price point, so we had that crab fries and that then- That was around like 14. $14. Lisa's shrimp pasta was 28. I think, And yeah. my uh, linguine and clams was 26. With the tax, it came out to about 68 and some change. Well, no, that was that, after they oh, took off the annual pass holder discount. That's right, so it was 70 some dollars. And then you do get a pass holder discount if you are, which saved me $7.10, which then brought you down to about $68. So that's probably about your average, what you're gonna be spending, I would say on average about $70, because we had no alcoholic drinks. No, oh, and I only stuck with water. You got a soda, which is yeah. three bucks, but that's, that's typical average. of Disney. So, so I would say if you would add a glass of wine or beer, your average is gonna be over $100 every time. But all in all, I thought it was a really good place to eat. It was, and then we finished the night off at Chapel Hats, so I could try on hats to try to get invited to the next royal wedding. Yes, and I will insert those pictures here. That's gonna do it for us today here at Disney Springs, our paddlefish review, and you came along to our wedding anniversary. 
Yeet. three years. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary. We will see you next time. Vlog finito.